if you've got lion or mountain lion, you probably notice that if you go into file and choose new finder window, it often takes you to this window here that shows you all of your files. Now you may not want that, you may want it to go to a particular window, you may want it to go to a particular folder. You can also change down the side here what's actually listed here as well. Now to do this, what you need to do is go into Finder at the top here, click on Preferences. Now the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that I'm clicked on General here and then I can see that all of my files is what happens when a new Finder window shows. So I can change it. I just have to click on that and I can make it go to any one of these, including the desktop or documents. You could go to a specific folder. So you could go to Other and then choose which one it is. So I could click on that GS Work there if I wanted to. But I'm going to leave it. I'm going to change it so that it goes to Documents. Now, if I just come over here, I'm going to close that. I'm going to go to File, New Finder Window, and you see it goes to my Documents here. So that's an improvement. Other things you can do as well is you can display hard disks, external drives, CDs, DVDs, and iPods on the desktop when you put them in. And if you're connected to a network, you could show connected servers. You can simply untick any of these that you don't want. And you can see it showing my Macintosh hard drive over here simply because I've got that hard disk selected over there. I can also go to my sidebar and change what appears on the sidebar here. So if something's missing, such as your movies, music, or pictures, simply come into here and tick them. And you'll see that there's more that can be ticked down here as well. Other options, and I'm just going back here to labels. You know, you can label your files so they have a different color so they're easy to identify when you're looking in the Finder. And I do actually have a tutorial on that. You'll find it on the Macintosh section on my website. If you go into Advanced, you can show all file name extensions. Often it hides them. You might want to see them, you know, like the .docs, .jpegs, all of those, you can tick that to show them. And also, you may have noticed if you change an extension, something that I do quite often, you get a warning, say, are you sure you want to do it? And you can untick that. You can also untick the warning showing before you're going to put something in the trash. I normally leave that switched on. And emptying trash securely. So one of the things that you can do is when you empty something on your hard drive, when you clear it from your trash, You've probably heard that there is a way to get it back, assuming you do it quite soon. Well, there is another way to empty it securely, and you can do that every single time. And what it does, it takes a lot longer to empty it, but it's much, much harder, if not impossible, to get that file back. So there are some of your Finder preferences and also how you can get it to show a different folder when you open a new folder window.